activities in accounting? Do you remember? Identification. The first Identification. One is and the second one is recording and the third one is communication. Yes, that's correct. Identification, uh, recording and communication. OK, identification. Remember that we need to identify the business events OK, that we need to record. There are a lot of business events in the business, but we will only record the one that is appropriate. And the second one is to record it. OK, it, we can also call it bookkeeping. OK, bookkeeping process. And the third one is after you record the transaction, you then need to prepare the financial statements, you know, like the balance sheet, income statement, um, owner equity statement, and then you will com communicate all these statements to the entrusted users, OK? And you will analyze the information um, of the financial statements to the entrusted users so they can make useful decisions, OK? So the three activities uh, are the main things in accounting. And today we're going to learn about one of the activities, which is recording. OK, so we're going to look at recording today, the recording process. OK, how do we record a transaction? All right. And what does it mean by account? What is debit? What is credit? Uh, how how do we prepare the statement after we record all the transactions. So today we're going to learn about the recording process. OK, so first of all, when we look at the accounts, OK, normally it has debit and credit. Now, does anyone know what does it mean by debit and credit? Anyone knows? What is the meaning of debit and credit? Debit, does it mean like we have a debt? Or what, what is debit and credit? Um, what do you think, Sophia? Sophia? Oh, Sophia? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. What, what is debit and credit in your opinion? Debit is deposited in your Pardon? account. Debit is depositing in your account, so you're adding money. And credit is um, subtracting from your capital, so something that minuses. Okay, so Sophia say that debit, it means something that you have in the account. And credit, it means, um, you know, when you use this, then it's subtracting from your account. But uh, is it correct? Also, it's, um, I want to say one more thing. It's debit is like the positive um, side of the balance, balance sheet account. And it's the entry, yeah. on, the left, entry on the left side. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, you almost come there. All right, now, many people say debit, it means debt. Credit, it means um, what you have. Uh, or some people say debit, it means what you have in your account. And credit, it means when you use this, you subtract it. Uh, actually, all are not correct, okay? Not correct. Debit and credit just simply mean the direction, okay? So, Note it down for me, yeah? debit and credit is only means the direction. Debit means to the left and credit means to the right. OK, so um, it helps us to analyze the account. All right, because sometimes for the bank, for example, for the bank, when we have an account in the bank, it is credit. And when we use this, it's going to be debit. All right. But for other things for company, debit is mean you have it and credit is mean you owe money. It, it's going to be different. So 
don't remember about all of this. Just understand that debit and credit means the direction. Okay, debit and credit means the direction. Debit is mean in the left. Credit it means in the right. Okay, now an account normally is in the form of this. Okay, we call it a T account. All right, a T account. So the account will help to record the increases or the decreases in a specific assets, liability, owner's equity, revenue, or expense item, okay? And just now we talk about debit, right? What is debit? It means in the left, okay? Credit, it means in the right, okay? So the account, the T account here, normally it has uh, an account name at the top okay so you always write the name of the account at the top so it can be cash all right and on the left side we have debit on the right side we have credit and at the bottom uh we will have the balance there okay okay so um let's look at the um the analysis of the each account. Okay, so I'm going to share with you another one. Uh, can anyone tell me what is the accounting equation again? Anyone know? What is the accounting equation again? Asset equal to liability plus own equity. Good. Assets is equal to liability plus owner equity okay now look at the uh, accounting equation here okay ss is on the left side of the accounting equation so i'm going to say that it has debit okay liability and owner equity they are on the right side of the accounting equation so Whatever increase liability and owner equity, we're going to have a credit. Okay, so we say that assets increase. Assets increase. What we're going to do? We're going to debit. All right. When assets increase, we're going to debit. Why? Because assets is on the left side of the accounting equation. So anytime assets increase. We're going to debit. Now, when assets decrease, okay, so what is the opposite of debit? It is credit. So when assets decrease, we're going to credit. Okay, again, one more time. Assets equal to liability plus owner equity. Assets is on the left side of the accounting equation. And we say that what is on the left, we're going to debit, right? Because debit means left. So when assets increase, we're going to debit. When assets decrease, we're going to credit. Okay. Now, what about liabilities and owner's equity? When liability and owner equity increase, okay, what do we do, class? You want to know? We're going to credit. Okay, why? Because it's on the right side of the accounting equation. So uh, whenever we increase liability and owner equity, we credit. Now, liability and owner equity, okay, when it's decrease, okay, what do we do when it's decrease? Anyone know? Debit. debit. We're going to debit because it is opposite of credit, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. So just remember that access on the left side, we debit. Liability on and owner equity on the right side. So what? Whenever those increase, we credit. 
Okay, opposite will be debit. All right, now, anyone remember on the equity? Is this influenced by the four things? Okay, anyone know what are the four things that on the equity is influenced? No. Owner's capital. Capital. What else? Drawing. Um, drawings. Good. Revenues. Revenues. And. And expense. Expenses. Very good. Okay. So owner equity. Uh, is influenced by these four owners capital drawing revenue and expenses all right now when owner capital increase okay when owner capital increase okay when we increase owner capital all right now can you tell me what happened to owner equity Owner equity will increase or decrease? Decrease. Increase or decrease again? Decrease. Increase. Okay. Owner equity will increase. Okay. Now, remember when owner equity increase, we debit or credit? With debit or credit? credit? Credit. Debit or credit? Credit. 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 Good. Credit. Okay. We will credit. Right. Here you remember that when liability and owner equity increase, right? We credit. So when owner capital increase, it means that owner equity also increase. So we will credit. What about drawing? Okay, when drawing increase, what happened to owner equity? Anyone know? Decrease. Owner equity will decrease. Good. So when owner equity decrease, what do we do? We debit or we credit? Debit. We debit. Very good, we debit, right? Yes. Remember here, we would debit when owner equity decrease. Okay, what happened to revenues? When we increase the revenues, okay, what happened to owner equity? Increase. 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 Increase, good, it's increase. So when owner equity increase, okay. Chipego, can you tell me we should debit or credit? Uh, we should credit. We should credit, very good. Okay, we should credit. All right. Now next is the expenses. Expenses, okay, expenses. When we increase expenses, it means we use a lot of money, right? Pay for salary, pay for the rent. What happened to our owner equity? It's, it's decrease. It will? It will decrease. It will decrease, good. It will decrease. Our owner equity will decrease. And when owner equity decreases, what do we do? We take it. We it. So that is how you will uh, record the journal entry when your account has increased or decreased. Okay. And remember that the opposite will be, um, you know, in the opposite side. For example, if if revenue decrease class, what happened? If revenue decrease, what happened? Um, 
if preference owner quality decrease owner equity uh, decrease in, good and owner equity decrease we will debit debit on huh? <laughs> equity okay it will be opposite yes yes example yeah opposite side example i don't want to confuse you but um, we you should understand that the opposite will will come with opposite side so when revenue decrease what happened happen owner equity will decrease okay. equity will decrease and when owner equity decrease what happen we will debit debit yeah okay so i i don't want to write this but you just Re, uh, infer from this, okay? What will be the opposite side when it's decrease? All right. Okay. Um. Any question? Okay. Let's try. Okay. Let's try example. All right. Now, for example, if I have cash increase, okay. Now, can anyone tell me I should debit or credit? Debit. 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 Debit, good, because cash is an asset. When asset increase, we should debit. debit. Good, good. Okay, next. Uh, if I have accounts payable, accounts payable, okay, and account payable decrease, if my account payable decrease, okay, can anyone tell me I should debit or credit? Debit. 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 Debit or credit? Debit. 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 Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Who say debit? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Click on the raising hand. Click on the raising hand. I want to see your raising hand. Who say David? Raise your hand. Okay, when account payable decrease, we debit or credit? Debit, okay. Okay, who say that it's credit? Raise your hand. Who say it credit? Raise your hand. Okay, all right now. Sophia, Jessica, Paula, we. Oh no, no one. How about those who didn't raise your hand just now? Okay, the answer is it should be. Debit. debit. Okay, why debit? Because account payable is a liability, and when liability decrease we will debit. debit okay debit you with me okay example equipment equipment decrease what you were going to do equipment decrease debit, uh, debit credit. or credit 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 credit, credit. credit. Good. because equipment is an asset when assets decrease we credit Okay, next, expand increase. Expense what do we do? Debit. Credit. 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 Credit? Yes. yes. So when expand increase, what happened? Owner equity decrease, so we should? Debit, Debit. right? Um. Debit. <laughs> Okay, everyone, by next week, you need to be, uh, you know, deep understand of this, okay? When I say any account, you have to tell me whether we should debit or credit immediately, all right? Okay, one last question. If owner drawing increase, what do we do? Debit. Debit. Debit, good. All right? Are we okay with this? Did you write down already? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good job. Now next, I'm um, going to continue. Okay. If I'm too fast, uh, you can stop me. Okay, and ask question. Don't don't hold it in your heart. Okay, and then later you will not understand. Okay. Now look at the account class. Uh, we have debit on the left side and credit on the right side. So if the sum of debit, you know, in um, the many transaction is greater than the sum of credit, then we will have a debit balance in that account. Okay, so what you do is you will take the sum of debit. Here is 10,000 plus 8,000 and you will minus the credit one and that will give you the balance of the account, okay? So here, what is the balance of the account? Uh, Alexander, what is the balance of the account? 18,000. Uh, no, balance. Okay. 18,000 minus 3,000 is how much? 15,000. 15,000, okay, and it will be debit balance. Debit. Right, debit balance because the amount in the debit column is more than the amount in the credit column. Okay, so the balance will be in the debit side. All right, or we say that the account will have a debit balance. Okay, next. Okay, next. For example, in this case class, the credit balance. Okay, the credit balance is more than the amount in the debit column. All right, so can anyone tell me what is the balance of this account? What is the balance? Credit. Credit, yes, the, the balance will be on credit side. How much? 1,000. 1, good. It's because 3,000 plus 8,000 minus 10,000, that will give you? 1,000, okay? 3,000 plus 8,000 minus 10,000, that will give you 1,000. Any question? Any question? Okay, um, let's look at double entry system. You remember the father of accounting? Yeah, what is his name again? Luca. The father of accounting. Luca. Luca Pacioli, okay? So, he developed the double entry system in his uh, famous book. So uh, he said that every transaction must affect two or more accounts to keep the basic accounting equation in balance, okay? So every transaction that you have, it will influence to two or more accounts, okay? Two or more accounts. And uh, when you record it, you should debit at least one account and credit at least another account, okay? So that the, the transaction can be balanced. And remember that debits must always equal credits. So you cannot debit everything but no credit, okay? So always, uh, have to debit at least one account and credit at least one other account. This one we call it double entry system. Okay, double entry system. Remember, debit must always equal credit. Okay, so we learned just now, right? Um, SS is on the left side of accounting equation. So when assets increase, we debit. When assets decrease, we credit, okay? And uh, the term normal balance, what is normal balance? Normal balance is means uh, the balance will be on the increase side, okay? The balance will be on the increase side. So for example, for assets, assets, the increase side is on debit, right? So assets always have normal balance on debit, debit side, okay? Liability, the increase side is on credit. So liability always have normal balance on credit side, okay? And similar with, you know, owner capital, normal balance will be credit 
and on the drawings, normal balance will be debit. Revenue, normal balance will be credit, you know, because when revenue increase, uh, owner equity increase, right? So when owner equity increase, we credit, okay? Expenses, normal balance will be debit, okay? Why? Because when ex expense increase, what happened? Owner equity will decrease, right? When owner de equity decrease, we debit, okay? So uh, for assets, it's increased, we debit, decrease, we credit, okay? Liability and owner equity, if it's increased, we credit, and decrease, we debit. Okay, and you can see the sign here, the plus and minus sign, it shows the increase or decrease of the account. Now, let's look at the journal, okay? So these are the steps that every accountant, they need to do, all right? So what do they do actually? First, they need to analyze the transaction, okay? Which one that we should record? And then the second step is that they need to journalize the transaction. Journalize means we need to record it, all right? And then we pause it to the lecture. We prepare the dry balance, okay? In chapter three, we will learn about adjusting entries, uh, prepare adjust the dry balance, financial statement, closing entry, post-closing trial balance. Okay, so these are all the steps that every accountant, they need to do it, okay? Now, we are in the second step here, okay? We're going to learn about how to journalize the transaction, okay? This is called the uh, recording process, one of the recording process, one of the steps in the recording process. So we're going to analyze the transaction, enter the transaction in the journal okay we will record it in the journal and then from the journal we will transfer the information to the lecture account okay so that that are the steps that we need to do now so uh when you heard the word journal right what does it mean by journal okay um does anyone here you know try diary do you write diary like every day? What do you do? Something like that. Does anyone write diary? Okay. So journal is, is a similar type of diary, you know, but this is a diary for the business. Okay. So um, for the journal, okay, the accountant will record the transaction that happened or that occurred you know, every day. So we call it, it is a book of original entry, okay? And the transactions recorded in chronological order, okay? What is the word chronological order means? It means that we will record the transaction in order, in order, in the time order, okay? For example, uh, we will record the transaction on August 1, and then August 2nd, August 3rd, August 4th, okay? Can I record uh, August 1? And then I remember that there's a journal on, on July 31, so I record on July 31. Can I do like that? No, okay? This is not chronological order, okay? You need to record the transaction in order. Okay, in order of time. And uh, it has a contribution to the recording process because it shows you the effects of every transaction, okay? And um, it provides a record of the transaction. So whenever you need to go back and see, okay, what, what happened on August 1, so you can always go back and track, okay, the transaction that happens on August 1 or any day in the past. And the journal can help you to prevent any errors, okay? Or you can find out the errors because the debit and credit amount, they must be equal, okay? Or if sometimes you make some mistake, the journal will help to, 
you know, find out what, what is the mistake. All right, so let's learn how to journalizing, okay? Journalizing a transaction, okay? So I would like Jason to read for us the illustration. Jason, please. Okay, on September 1, Reniel invested 15,000 cash in cash in the business and soft buy purchase computer equipment for 7,000 cash. Okay, so Renew invested 15,000 cash in the business, okay? So Chutima, can you tell me cash increase or decrease? Chutima? Yes, cash increase. How much? Uh, 15,000. Okay, cash increase 15,000. Now cash is an asset, right? When yes. assets increase, we should debit or credit, Chutima? Debit. We debit, okay? So I'm going to write down cash debit 15,000, okay? Uh, next. Okay, we invest. 15,000 for cash, right? This is only debit, but we, we haven't recording anything on credit side. So when the owner invests money in the business, what else will increase? Anyone know? Owner's capital. Owner's, owner's capital, good. Uh, owner capital is an owner equity, right? So when owner capital increase, what happened to owner equity? is credit. increase, right? So we should debit or credit? Credit. Credit, okay? So we have owner capital credit, 15,000. Now, I want you to remember here, okay? For your journal, when you write a journal, you should put in a format like this, okay? So you have the day, all right, the day, it should be in chronological order. Remember, it should be in time order. And then you have the account title and explanation. After the journal, you need to put a brief explanation in a bracket, okay? And then you will have a reference column. Now, the reference column I will explain later is to put the uh, account number there, okay? And then the amount debit and the amount credit. Now remember for me, remember, yeah? Always, always indent the credit account to the right, okay? Did you see that? The owner capital, uh, owner capital is this indented to the right, right? Okay, don't, don't write it in the same, you know, at cash, okay? It should be indented to the right. I will show you how to do later in Excel. But if you didn't indent it in the test, okay, or in the uh, assignment, I will deduct your point. So remember, always indent the credit account to the right, okay? Next thing that I want you to remember is don't write the dollar signs in the journal, okay? Don't write dollar sign or euro sign here in the journal. We don't put the dollar or euro, okay, the currency in the journal. We just put the number only, okay? So remember that. Again, remember to indent the credit account to the right and don't write the currency symbol in the journal, okay? If you do that, it will be deducted point, okay? All right, and next, okay, next we have a uh, soft buy purchase computer equipment for 7,000 cash, right? So it's mean equipment increase, right? Because we have equipment. So access increase, access on the left side, when it increase, we debit 7,000, okay? What else do we need to credit? Anyone know? We buy the equipment for cash. So what, what else we credit? Hello? Cash. Cash, cash man. We credit cash 7,000. Good, because we pay cash, right? So cash, our cash decrease. 
So when cash decree, assets decree, we credit. Okay, got that? Okay, next. Illustration. Uh, ma'am, question, ma'am. Yes, sure. Uh, in that, yeah, in this one, why is it cash and not expense? Uh, because you buy the computer equipment for 7,000 cash. It say here, purchase computer equipment for 7,000 cash. It means you pay money, right? You pay cash to buy the equipment, right? So it means you have equipment. So assets increase, we debit 7,000. And when we pay money, cash decree, so we credit 7,000 cash. Now, why is this not expense? Because there's nothing about expense here, okay? Uh, we don't use rent, we don't use salary expense. No, th there's no expense here. Cash is not an expense. Cash is your resource. So we use the cash, we use resources, right, to get equipment, all right? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, uh, the next one, Illustration. Uh, I want, um, let's see, Napat. Napat, are you here? Hello, Napat. Napat, are you with me? Okay, uh, Sisa. Sisa, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Sisa, can you read the illustration for us, please? No. Okay. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. On July 1, Butler Shipping purchases a delivery truck costing 14,000 euros. It pays 8,000 cash now and agrees to pay the remaining 6,000 on account to be paid late. Okay, good. So, Butler Shipping, it buy what? Anyone know? What does it buy? Uh, delivery. delivery truck. Okay. And the delivery truck costs how much? 14,000. 14,000, 14, good. Did it pay 14,000 when it buy a truck? No. 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 Right. How much did the Butler Shipping pay? 8,000. 8, 8, 8, good. What about the rest 6,000? Yeah, pay later. Pay later, or it's all money on account, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now, how do we do this? Okay, so when we have a delivery truck, this is an access, right, class? Yes. Okay, so what yes. do we debit? What do we debit? Anyone know what do we debit? 8,000 debit. 8,000 debit. Okay. okay, we can use uh, equipment for the delivery truck. So we debit equipment 14,000. If the company have uh, the account called automobile, you can also debit automobile for 14,000, okay? So we debit equipment 14,000, all right? Because our assets increase, equipment increase, we have the delivery truck, okay? What do we credit? Anyone know? Uh, credit is 6,000 cash and credit 6,000 on accounts payable. Okay, good. Very good. We debit, we credit uh, 6,000, 8,000 cash and account payable 6,000. Why? It's because we pay money, right? So cash decrease. When cash decrease, this is um, assets. When assets decrease, we credit. Account payable. Account payable is a liability, right, class? Okay, because we owe money. So account payable increase, right? Account payable increase. When account payable increases, mean liability increase, so we credit. Okay. Okay, any question about this? Any question about this? Are we clear? Question? Any question? Okay, uh, we will 
talk a little bit about lecture and then I will do some exercises with you, okay? Next is posting to the lecture accounts, okay? So after we record the transaction in the journal, or we call it journalize, okay? Journalizing transaction. The next step is to pause it to the lecture accounts, okay? To pause it to the lecture accounts. So when we pause to the lecture accounts, um, First, we should understand what does it mean by lecture, okay? So lecture is uh, the group of accounts that are maintained by a companies and it provides a balance in each account. It helps us to keep tracks of the changes in the account balance, okay? For example, uh, the general lecture we have the lecture of you know, cash account, supplies, equipment, land, okay? And the lecture for liability account, for example, we have lecture account for note payable, account payable, salary and wages payable, interest payable, okay? So what, what is the lecture look like? What, what does the lecture look like? It's look like this, okay? This is called the standard form of the lecture. Okay, so the standard form of the lecture is has what? The name of the account, did you see that? Cash, and then the account number, 101, the day, the explanation, the reference, debit, credit, and balance, okay? So normally we, we don't feel the explanation here, okay? It would take a lot of time to do that, all right? Uh, for the reference, you will write uh, the journal page here, okay? So for example, just now the journal, did you see J1 at the right corner up there? J1, okay? This is the uh, journal page number one, okay? J1 is mean the journal page number one. So normally we will put it in the reference here, J1, okay? Uh, or J2 or J3 is the pen, okay? And then we will debit or credit uh, according to the transaction. And the balance columns, it will show what is your balance of cash at the end of every day, okay? For example, if you want to know uh, how much cash do I have at the end of July 3, okay? Ju June 3, sorry, June 3. So it will be 21,200, right? Okay, if the accountant want to know how much is cash, how much of cash do I have at the end of June 30, it would be 9,450. You see that, the ending balance. So the, the balance here is show the, the balance of the account every day, okay? And this is called the standard form of the lecture. This is another form of the lecture. It's called T account, okay, T account. T account is uh, same as the beginning class, okay? This one we call T account lecture, okay? So depends on the question class. If the question tell you to prepare the T account lecture, you will do like this, all right? You will do like this account lecture, you do like this. But if the questions say, prepare a standard form of the lecture, then you will do like this, okay? This is the standard form of the lecture. So read the question carefully, okay? And if the question doesn't mention anything, we will do the standard form of the lecture, all right? Okay, any question until here? Okay, so let's try with the first one. You remember the journal that we record just now? Debit cash, 15,000. Credit owner capital, 15,000. So we will post that to the lecture, okay? So you need to open the lecture for cash and owner capital, all right? And then you will post 15,000 debit cash. The balance will be 15,000, okay? And then credit owner capital, 
15,000, okay, put it in the lecture, and the balance would be 15,000. Now, look at the general journal. The reference column, look at the reference column. Did you see that? 101301. What are they? What are they? They are the account number. Okay, they are the account number. So normally the question will give you the account number. Then you have to put it there in the reference column. Okay, if you don't put it, you will be deducted points. But if the question didn't give you the account number, then you don't have to put it. Okay, any question? Any question until here? Okay, you know the difference between the journal and the lecture? Yeah, after we record in journal, we will post this to the lecture. Okay, we we'll post this to the lecture. And these are the, the charts of the account. Charts of accounts is mean the list of the account that we have. Okay, so as us, we have all these uh, lists of account. Okay. Now we look going to the recording process illustrated. So these are the steps that you need to follow when you um, when you recording. First is that you need to determine what type of accounts is involved. And then the next step is to find out whether it's increased or whether it is decreased and by how much. And after that, you will translate the increases and the decreases into debits or credits. OK. OK, let's look at the first one. Uh, Chipego, can you read for us on October 1? Chipego. Uh, come again, Matt. Yeah, can you read for us this one? Transaction on October 1. On October 1, CR Bird invested 10,000 cash in an advertising company called Yazichi Advertising. Okay, so Chipego, can you tell me in this case what increase, what decrease? Mm. So when we invest cash in the business. Okay, okay. So cash will increase. And cash yeah. increase good and and uh, owner's capital will increase. Owner capital increase good. When cash increase, we debit or we credit? Uh, debit. We debit good. We debit cash ten thousand. When owner capital increase, we credit debit or credit? Credit. 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 Okay, so the journal would be debit cash 10,000 and credit owner capital 10,000. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. And next step is to pause it to the lecture. Now, uh, Chibigo, here you see that it says, uh, what type of lecture is that? Is it a T account lecture or is it a standard form lecture? A T, T account. It's a T account lecture, good. Okay, so we debit cash 10,000 and we credit owner capital 10,000. Thank you, Chip and Go. Next. Everyone understand? Any question? Okay, good. We go to the next transaction. Next transaction, I will ask Stalin, can you read for us? Okay, Stalin, uh, please. On October 1, Yaziti purchases office equipment costing 5000 by signing a three month 12% percent um, 5000 note payable. Okay. All right. So uh, this company buy office equipment, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did they pay the money when they, they buy office equipment? No. No, okay, they, they borrow money, right? By signing the note, 5,000. So what, what is the three months 12%? Now three months is mean the, the period that you borrow the note. So you need to pay back, you know, in three months. 
12% is mean the interest rate of the note, okay? So the interest rate is 12% per year, okay? But in this transaction, don't worry about the three month 12%, okay? Because we, 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 we don't record interest yet, okay? In this transaction, it is talking about buying the equipment by borrowing the money, 5,000. Okay, so Stalin, tell me what account increase and what account decrease um, when we buy equipment. Equipment will increase. Good, equipment increase, good. What else? And um, not, not pay, uh, owner's equity. Oh. oh, no, no, liability, sorry, liability. Liability, okay. Which liability, account payable or not payable? Not payable. Not payable, increase or decrease? Uh, this will be... The liability increase or decrease? Increase. Increase, good, because we owe more money, right? So equipment increase, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. And not payable, which is liability increase also because we owe money, right? We owe money, all right? Now, let's go to the... Uh, journal. So Stalin, when equipment increase, what do we do? We debit or credit? Debit. We debit, good, because this is an assets, and when assets increase, we debit. Okay. Next, not payable. What do we do, Stalin? We credit. We credit it because this is a liability. When liability increase, we credit. Okay, and then after that, we pause it to the lecture. Debit equipment and credit not payable. Okay, thank you, Stalin. Is there any question, class, on this? Any question that you want to ask? Again, don't be confused about the three month 12% note. Okay, this is just showing. Uh, when the note is due and how much interest rate that you need to pay. But on October 1, you know, the transaction is just simply that you buy equipment by borrowing the money, okay, on the note. So don't worry about that. Okay, next, who volunteer to do next one? Anyone volunteer? No, I'll call name, yeah. Falavi, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you read for us? On October 2, yes, yeah, City received a 1,200 cash for advertising services that are expected to be completed by December 31. Okay, so what, what is that? It's um we receive receive cash mm. for what for advertising service for advertising service okay now this company oh uh, I forgot to tell you is the is it providing the service the advertising service you know so we we advertise for the customer the customer come to us and ask us to uh, do advertising, you know, and then we, we provide the service for the customer by advertising. Okay, so in this transaction, what do we do? Uh, we receive cash, so cash increase or decrease, uh, Falavi? Increase. Increase, good. So cash increase by 1,200. Now, okay, we have a new account here, okay? Now, the services are expected to be completed by December 31. It means that, uh, did we provide a service to the customer yet? Not yet. Not yet, okay? So we cannot use the service revenue account, okay, class? Remember, yeah? We haven't done the service to the customer yet. You cannot use service revenue account. Service revenue account we use is increased when we 
already provided the service to the customer. OK, in this case, we have a new account class. OK, there's a new account here. This is called unearned revenues or we call it unearned service revenue. OK, well, what is unearned service revenue? Is it an asset? Is it a liability? Or is it an owner equity account? Can anyone guess? Just guess, okay. Can you type in the chat box for me? Unearned service revenue or unearned revenue account? What is that? Is it an asset, liability, or owner equity? Okay, type in the chat box now, everyone. Unearned revenue, is it assets? Liability. Okay, Sophia say liability, Chutima liability, AD assets, one point liability, Jason assets. What about the risk? Liability. Okay. Gabriel liability. Jessica assets. What's so many different answer? No one say owner equity. No one say owner equity. Does anyone think it's owner equity? Because is 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 it revenues? Revenue is under owner equity, right? So it has the word revenue there, right? It's not owner equity. Yeah, ma'am. It's owner equity. It's owner equity. Okay, Stalin says it's owner equity. Wow, so many different answers. Okay, Farrell say it's owner equity. So who's correct? Okay, who's correct? Seek assets, liability, or owner equity now? The answer is it is liabilities. Okay, this is liability. Why is this liability? Oh, why is this liability? Because we received the money from the customer already, right, class? But we haven't provided any service to the customer yet, right? So we owe them, we owe them the service, right? It should be liability, okay? So remember for me, note it down, yeah? Write down somewhere, okay? Remember for me, unearned revenue is a liability, all right? It's a liability. Um, you know, when 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 I give this in the test, uh, many students put unearned revenue as a revenues, you know, but, but it's not a revenue account, okay? It is a liability account. Why is liability? Because we owe the customer the service and we're going to pay them later, okay? Not pay them, but we're going to provide the service to the customer later. So we owe them a service. This is a debt. Okay, or we call it, is this an obligation? All right, that we need to provide a service later. So unearned revenue increase. Okay, this is a new account, yeah, class? Note down for me. Unearned revenue is, means we receive the money from the customer in advance, but we haven't provided the service to the customer yet. So we owe the customer a service. Okay, we owe the customer a service. This is a, a debt or this is a, an obligation. All right. So in this case, cash increase 1,200. What do we do for Lavi? We debit or credit? Uh, credit. Cash, 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 cash in cash debit. Cash debit. Cash in cash debit, how much? Uh, 1,200. Okay, what else? And credit, unearned, unearned revenue, 1,200. 1,200, good. Okay, so we will pause that to the lecturer. Okay, now, did you see that before we have cash 10,000? Now we debit another 1,200. Unearned revenue, okay, you credited 1,200, okay? Remember, we owe them a service. We owe the customer a service, okay? 
And when we provide the service to the customer, we're going to debit the uh, unearned service uh, revenues and credit service revenue. Okay, class? We will learn it in chapter three. When we provide a service to the customer, then we you, you will debit and earn revenue because we don't owe them anymore and credit service revenue. Okay, next. Uh, Min, Min, can you read that one first? Min. Hello, Min. On October, yes, me, yes, I'm here, man. Yeah, okay. On on October 3, yes, see, pay office rent for October in cash of 900. Okay. Okay, man. So, what increase or decrease? We pay money for the office rent. What do you think? So, the assess is increased. The assess decrease good. The assess is mean cash, right, man? Yes. Cash decrease. Okay. And then what increase? Uh, the liability. No. Office rent. Office rent is an expense. Office rent is an expense. On oh, no, equity. On oh, no, equity. Okay, or we say that uh, the expense, office rent expense, so we have rent expense increase and cash decrease. Okay, rent expense increase and cash decrease. Yes, when rent expense increase, owner equity will decrease. Okay, mean so how can I record this transaction? When rent expand increase, okay? Expand increase. We debit or credit mean? Uh, debit. Debit, how much? 900. 900, good. And what do we credit? Uh, cash, 900. Cash, 900, good, because Cash is an asset, and when assets decrease, we credit it. Okay, so you credit cash. Pauses to the lecture, credit cash 900, and debit rent expense 900. Uh, Ma'am? Yes? In the journal, can we write credit first and then the debit? Oh, no, 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 cannot write credit oh, first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's the rule, yeah? Always, always write debit first and credit second, okay? I forgot, okay. thank you for reminding me. Okay, in the journal, the rule is always write the debit first and then after that, credit. Okay, any question here? Any question here? Remember, office rent, advertising, utility, they are all expenses, okay, class? They are all expenses. Uh, you, do you have any question until here before I move on? Before I move on. Okay. Um, let's... Mom, when can... Yes? What is the hint that it says unearned revenue? Is there like what, a hint? What is what? Can you repeat the question? Um, when, when do we know that it is unearned revenue? Is there like a hint in the transaction? Okay, when do we know is this an unearned revenue? Okay, an unearned revenue is happen when you receive the money from the customer and you haven't provided any service to them. Okay, then unearned revenue will happen. Okay, we receive the money from the customer, but we will provide the service to the customer in the future. All right, so we have an unearned revenues. OK, if, if you already provided the service to the customer, it's not an earned revenue. OK, class, it would be service revenue. All right, this one is we got the money in advance, but we haven't done anything to the customer yet. OK, we owe them the service. So it is an earned 
revenue. Okay. Does it answer your question? Are you clear? Yes, ma'am. Good. Next one. Uh, October 4. Uh, Napat, are you there? Napat? No? Isaiah, are you there? Isaiah? Yes, ma'am. Can you read for us, please? On October 4, use easy pay 604. Uh, sorry, because of the message. Uh, for one for one year insurance policy that's where expired next year on September thirty. Okay, so what happened? We pay six hundred for one year insurance policy. Okay, it means that um, on October four. The company pay 600 cash, right? To buy an insurance. And that insurance will protect them until September 30 next year. Okay, are, are you clear? Are you clear on that? Okay, we have a new account here, okay? So when you pay for some expenses, in advance, okay? I should write down, yeah. Let me okay. write down. In Excel then. Okay, when you pay for some ends in advance, in advance uh, it's mean before you use this. Then we will use an account or prepay pay expenses. Okay. Yeah. For example, example. If you pay for, you know, when, when you go and rent um, a house, you know, normally the owner will ask you to pay for three month rent, right? Three month rent. Okay, in advance, right? Okay, so in that case, what do we do? We will have a prepay rent, okay? Prepay rent. This means we pay for the rent in advance before we use those expenses, okay? When we pay for insurance, pay for one year, okay? One year insurance. In it, we have what? Prepaid what? Anyone know? Prepay? Prepay? Oh. Expense. Repay expense. Specific name, please. Repay insurance. insurance. Okay, repay insurance. Okay, so when you pay for something before you use it, okay, we call it prepay rent or prepay insurance, prepay expenses. Okay, uh, okay, the prepay insurance or prepay expenses okay now anyone guess yes okay is it a asset is it a liability or is it an owner equity get yes liability or owner equity what is it okay again we pay for something before we use it okay it's an asset. It's an SS. All right. What 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 about others? What do you think? Oh Napat, you can hear me, but I cannot hear you. Yeah. What about others? 
the abilities. Jessica say liability. Day Day say owner equity. Chibago say SS. Okay. Anyone know what is that? Okay, Mini say it's an SS. Alexander AD, what is that? SS. Can Ron get SS also? Okay, Lorin there SS. Okay, Alexander say it's an asset. Min, what is that, Min? Honor yes. equity, ma'am. Honor equity. Okay, Chuti Ma. Liberty, okay. Um, Sophia SS. Okay. Okay, you have different guess. All right. So the answer is, is, is on. Access. Okay. This is an asset. Why is this an asset? Why prepay expense is an asset? Right? Expenses is an owner equity, remember? Owner equity account. But prepay expenses is this an asset. Why is this an asset? Because it shows the benefit that the company will receive in the future. Okay, it's the benefit that we're going to receive in the future. What, what is the benefit? The rent, right? We're going to get the rent in the future. The insurance we're going to receive in the future. So those benefit is on assets, okay? It's on assets. So when we pay for some expenses in advance, we will have a prepay expense, okay? It's different with unearned revenue, right? Unearned revenue is mean when you receive cash from customer in advance okay, before you providing the service. We use the account unearned service revenue. Okay. And this is our what liability. Why is this a liability? Because we owe the customer a service. We already received the money, but we haven't provided any service to the customer yet. So we owe them owe. in the future. Right? Okay, differentiate yeah, the two new account here. Prepay, expand. It means when we pay for something before we use this. Okay, this is on access. But when we receive cash from the customer before we providing the service, it will be on earn service revenues okay got that is this a liabilities any question any question okay let's go continue question stop me yeah okay let's look at this one again so we pay 600 for one year insurance, right? That will expire next year. It means we pay 600 for the insurance in advance, okay, in advance. So we have prepay insurance, prepay insurance. This account increase 600 and we pay cash. We pay cash, right, Glad? So cash will decrease by 600 okay so cash decrease 600 prepay insurance increase 600 and remember prepay insurance is an access okay it's an access okay isaiah can you tell me uh what is the journal here 
What do we debit and what do we credit, Isaiah? Um, for, for assets, for cash. Richard, so we debit first, debit first. What do we debit? When assets increase, prepaid insurance, assets increase, what do we do? Uh, debit. We debit. So what do we debit here? Um, prepaid insurance. Prepaid insurance, good. Okay, so I'm going to debit prepaid insurance. It's on assets. When assets increase, we debit. Okay, what else, Isaiah? And then we credit for cash. We credit cash. How much? 600. 600. Okay, good. Credit cash, 600. So here we will pause this to the lecture by credit cash, 600. David prepared insurance, 600. Okay. Question? Any question? Anyone don't understand? Please stop me. Yeah. If you don't understand, please stop me and say, teacher, please explain again or something. Everyone is clear? Okay. Let's Wait, go can now. you explain for yeah, that one again? I'm not yet clear with that. Which one? Which one? This one. Okay. Um, when we pay for the expand before we use it, right? This is for one year and it will expire September next year. So in this case, when we pay for some expense before we use it, we call it prepay expense, okay? Prepay expense. And the name would be prepay insurance in this case. Prepay insurance is an asset because it will give us the benefit of insurance in the future, right? We're going to get the insurance from the company in the future, okay? So, so assets will increase by 600, prepay insurance increase 600, and we pay cash, so cash will decrease 600, okay? Prepay insurance is an asset, and when assets increase, we debit. Cash is an asset, and when assets decrease, we credit. Okay, all right, and then we pause this to the lecture. All right, again, okay. so when you say, when you see, uh, when you the company pay for something in advance, okay, before they use it, it's going to be a prepay uh, expense, okay, or we call it prepay insurance, prepay rent, okay, uh, prepay gasoline, many type of prepay, all right. We pay for something and we haven't used it yet. Okay, it going to be prepay expense. And this is on assets. Okay. Next, uh, Sophia, can you read it for us? Okay, ma'am. On October 5, yeah, yeah, see purchases a three month supply of advertising materials on account from aero supply for 2500 okay okay sophia we buy supplies sophia we buy supplies so what happened sophia the supplies increases i increase 2500 good what else? Did we pay cash? Uh, yes, we paid cash, so cash decreases. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sure we pay cash? Oh no, it's on account. So it's on account. Okay. So what 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 increase? Account payable. Account payable increase good. So account will increase by 2,500. Okay, Sophia, so supplies is an asset, right? Assets increase 2,500. And yes. account payable is a liability. The liability increased by 2,500. What will be your journal? So journal will be 
<clears throat> so supply is debit, right? Debit supply, yes, how much? 2,500. 2,500, good. And what else? And accounts payable credit. 2500. 2500, good. Okay, and then we we'll process to the account. Okay, now class, uh, be careful here, okay, class? Uh, the question put here, purchase a three month supply. So you may, you may be confused, okay, with the prepay expense just now, okay? Remember that supply, supply is means what we use in the business is, is the paper, pencil, pen, you know, stationery that we, we use in business, right? So when we buy supplies, okay, the three month supply is mean that the supply can be used for three months, but supplies itself is an asset, okay, class? Supplies itself is an asset. It's not an expense like others. So you don't put prepay supply. We don't have prepay supply, okay? Supplies is an asset. The term three months there, it just means that it's this amount of supply can be used for three months, all right? So don't, don't be confused with the prepay just now, all right? Next, October 9, October 9, uh, anyone volunteer to do? Jason, please. On October 9, yes, CG hires four employees to begin work on October 15. Each employee is to receive a weekly salary of 500. Okay, so what do you think, uh, Jason? On October 9, the company hire, okay, they hire employees. And these four employees will begin to work on October 15, okay? And when they work for us, they will be paid $500 per week, okay? Did you understand that? Every every employee will be paid five hundred dollar per week. So Jason, on October nine, do we need to record anything? No. No. Why? Because there are no nothing happened there. Just okay. dating that four it's employees not, it's will not begin. Yeah. Good, good. So it's not a, a transaction. Remember uh, the uh, monetary unit assumption is say we only record the transaction when it can be expressed in term of money, right? But on yes. October 9, we only hire four employees. We don't pay any money to them, right? So this is not a transaction, correct? Okay, so we don't record any journal entry. Good, very good. Okay, mini, good. Yes, no recording. Okay, next on October 20. October 20. Uh, Napa, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Napa, the owner withdraw 500 cash. You know, withdraw money, withdraw money, 500 cash. So which one will increase and which account decrease? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I would say that if it is increased, it's collateral. Yeah. Okay, just guess, just guess. Do you remember we have a drawing account in owner equity? So when the owner withdraw the money, Okay, what happened to the drawing accounts? Is it increase or decrease? Increase, teacher. Increase, good. So the owner drawing increase, 500, right? Okay, when the owner withdraw the money, what about cash? Okay, 
the company money, it will increase or decrease when the owner withdraw the money. Napa? Uh, when the yeah. owner withdraw the money, the cash in the business is will increase or decrease? Decrease, teacher. Decrease, good. Okay. So what happened here? Owner drawing increase. Now owner drawing is under owner equity. When drawing increase, owner equity decrease, right? Yeah. And cash decrease. So can you guess what will be the journal here, Napa? What do we debit? Uh, I'm not sure what is your mm. Okay, owner drawing. Okay, look at owner drawing. When owner drawing increase, right? Okay, when we withdraw money, right? Owner drawing will increase and it will make owner equity decrease, right? It will make owner equity decrease. Now, now but think about owner equity is on the right side of the accounting equation. When yeah. it decrease, we debit or credit? A debit, teacher. Debit, good. So we're going to debit owner drawing 500. Now, what about cash? Cash is an asset, right, Napa? When assets decrease, we debit or credit? Cash is an asset. Assets on the left side. When assets decrease, we debit or credit? Napa? Hello, Napa? Are you there? We will credit, right? We credit cash for 500. And then we will just pause this to the lecture. Debit on a drawing and credit cash. Okay, any question about this? Next. Oh, your connection is not good, okay. Uh, October 26, October 26, uh, Jinjiang, are you there, Jinjiang? Zhang Jinjiang? Yes. Can you read for us, please? Okay. In October 26, uh, wait. Uh, does the office employees salaries of four thousand and pays them in cash? Mm -hmm. See September nine event. Okay, so remember just now. Um, just now we have October nine, right? We hire four employees to work for us. They begin to work for us on October 15. Yes. Okay. Mm. And now it's October 26, right? They already work for us 11 days, right? From mm. October 15 to October 26. So we owe them the salary. He said we owe them how much salary? Mm. Owe them salary of how much? How much? Four thousand. Oh, four thousand. Okay. So what do we have here? When the employees work for us, there is an expense. What is that? Uh, what is that expense called? Salary. Salary expense. Okay. Salary expense will increase four thousand. Okay. What? What will be another one? Their money, so liability increase, right? Okay. Yes. We have is that okay. oh we pay them. Oh sorry, we pay them on October 28. Sorry, we not owe them. 
Um, we owe them the salary, but now we pay to them on October 26, 4,000. Okay, so cash will decrease by 4,000. Okay, I'm sorry. So salary and wages expense increase 4,000. When cash decrease, we will credit. So, what is the Juno now, um, Xinjiang? Yeah. David? Uh, yes. David? Yes. David. Yes, David. David's salary and wages. Cash is credit. Okay, cash credit. Sorry. And credit. Oh, Jessica, you cannot hear me. Can you hear me clearly, class? Can you hear me clearly? Yes, we can hear you, ma'am, but it was uh, Zhang Jincheng got the buzzing oh. sound. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Jessica, Day Day, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear now, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, now it's better. Just now it's like there's a B. Okay, okay. I got it, yeah. Okay, October 31, October 31. Uh, Mini, one pawn. Can you read for us this one? Yes. Um, Octo on October 31, yeah, yeah, she receives uh, 10,000 in cash from Copa company for advertising services performed in October. Okay. So we receive money, right? We receive cash. Yes. Because we provided the service, okay, yes. to another company. Remember, Yaziti is, is doing, uh, providing advertising service. Okay, so now the customer paid to, to the company $10,000 because we already provided, we already provided the service. So what happened here, one point? Can you tell it? Um, the assets, um, I mean the cash increase. Good, cash increase how much? Uh, 10,000. Um, what about other accounts? The revenue increase. The revenue, yes. The revenue account will 10, increase by 10,000. Service revenue, yeah? Why? Why service revenue? Because we already performed the service, okay? Whenever we finish perform the service, then we have service revenue, okay? Service revenue. Whenever you finish perform the service, then you you earn service revenue already, even though you didn't get money, okay, class? Yes. Remember that for me. So uh, cash increased by 10,000 and service revenue increased by 10,000. So uh, Mini, can you tell us uh, the journal? So we have to debit the cash. Mm -hmm. How much? And uh, ten thousand. Good. And, and credit, credit the service revenue, ten thousand. And credit service revenue, ten thousand. Yeah. So credit debit cash, ten thousand, and credit service revenue, ten thousand. Okay. Any questions so far? Any question about this? We got money because we already performed the service right so we debit cash because we receive money 
and we credit service revenues because we already finished performing the service, right? So this will be uh, the summary of your journal, okay? So in, in the journal, you will have all of these, you know, transactions. Okay, this is the summary of all the things we did just now, all right? And after they prepare the journal, they will pause us to the lectures. These are all the lectures that you have. Okay, and did you see the red one? Is this the ending balance? Okay, this is the ending balance of all the accounts, all the lecture. All right, so at the end of the month, we will take the ending balance here to prepare the trial balance. All right, okay. all right, class, this is called the general lecture in the standard form. Okay, in the standard form. Any question until here? Any question until here? Uh, after we pause to the lectures, we then prepare the trial balance. So the trial balance of the company will look like this. Okay, it has the list of the account. It has debit side and credit side. Now the list of the account is will come from assets. Okay, you see cash, supply, prepaid insurance, equipment, they are assets. And then next to assets is what? Not payable, account payable, earning service revenue. They are liabilities, okay? Now, after liability, what is that? All the capital drawing revenue expenses, they are on the equity accounts, okay? And what is the balance here? What are the balances here that you put here? This is the red one, did you see that? The red one, the ending balance, 15,200 cash, supply, 2,500, right? Okay, we will put it in here, in the debit one. Okay, is this the ending balance? And at the end of the month, we will total all the ending balance of all the accounts, and we will get total debit equal to total credit. Okay, if you didn't get that, it means that you've done something wrong and you need to go back and check your account if you didn't get the balance, all right? Remember, total debit must always be equal to total credit, right? So um, that is about the trial balance, all right? The limitation of the trial balance is that sometimes if we forgot to record a journal, it's still balanced, okay? And sometimes there may be um, the correct journal is not posted or we we posted is trying is it's still difficult to uh, find out this mistake. OK, all the incorrect account are used in journalizing or posting. For example, if you use cash instead of account receivable, it's, it's very difficult to find it because it's still an access, right? And sometimes the error are upset each other, okay? So these are the limitation of the trial balance. It's how about to, to find the mistake sometime, but sometimes it's also very difficult if we have some uh, mistake like this, okay? Okay, that is all for chapter two. Is there any question? Any question about chapter two? All right, so listen carefully. Um, next Thursday, I will post a video of solving the exercises and I will give you a classwork to do, okay? We will not meet uh, next Thursday, okay? We will not meet in team next Thursday. I will give you a video to watch about solving the class problems and then I will give you a classwork to do. All right, okay, understand? Okay, and don't forget to submit assignment on next Wednesday at 11 p.m. Okay, any question? If you have a question about your assignment, you can send me through team, yeah? Team message, I will check it uh, regularly, okay? All right, thank you everyone. Have a good lunch.
Take care. Enjoy. Bye bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. See you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Teacher, sorry for the connection. Uh, no problem, Napa. But if you don't understand something, just ask me, okay, Napa? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I'm, I'm do, I do my homework, the E, E8 and E11. I think it's only a little, a little bit, not too much. <laughs> I so surprised. It, it, it's a little bit hard but for me, but okay, I will try it, teacher. Okay, if, if you have problem, then send me a message in team, okay? If you're stuck. Yes, teacher. I have a I have a sister. Her name is Lucy. She studied accounting too. I asked her like about this topic. It's okay, Tisha. Sure. Again, again, what did you say? You have a friend. What is her name? Lucy. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, you I asked ask Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can ask Lucy. And if you still have problem, uh, just message me, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you really much. Yeah, okay, take care. Uh, they, the, the assignment is assignment chapter one is listed on the course outline, okay? The exercises is listed on the course outline, okay? They check the course outline. Okay, is there any more questions? All right, and we will end the class here. Thank you, everyone.